안녕하세요. 저는 지은. 저는 베네이에요. This is our last video of our Vietnam adventure. Yeah, so we're on a bus now going back to Hanoi. Um, we started out in Hanoi, uh, had some great food. We also then went on to Beit Tulong Bay, uh, stayed on a floating house before heading over to Sapa to see the rice paddies. Um, and we've put together all the links to those videos below in the description. So here we are, we've arrived at our final hotel in Hanoi, Jayu Home. It was like a premium hotel. It was beautiful, it looked great, smelled great, really impressed. Yeah, and custom furniture, I guess. And actually, it was quite spacious as well. Yeah. We arrived pretty late. It was like 3 a.m. or 4, but they let us check in really early. So that was very really generous. One thing I'm not normally a fan of is where the bathroom has a glass door. Uh, it feels like you're sort of uh, on TV when you're going to a toilet or having a shower. Fortunately, this had a blind though. This is a banh mi place for our brunch. Very famous. I think it's the most famous banh mi place in Hanoi. Very popular. A queue. Tasted great though. Good. I think the mushroom one was nicer. They are here for antigen test. <laughs> yeah, we were flying back through China, so to fly through China we had to have a COVID test. Are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then next, next stop to get some coffee. And this is the entrance to go to coffee shop, which is pretty authentic. Hey, yeah, it's super interesting. Yeah, it was it was really um, decent. It has very like very special coffees on their own menu, and and they have this barista explaining about um, each beverage. No decaf. Though. Yeah, it was really hard to find decaf, which I prefer. Very hot, steamy weather. Wow, so hot. Sauna. Oh, yeah, it really did feel um, quite quite humid um, when we were back in Hanoi. Yeah, but inside of this old building, it has its own um, unique character like this. It's very authentic. Uh, so, and uh, we went to the restaurant to eat this ban seo. It's like Vietnamese pancake, I guess. How did you like it? I think Korean pancake's better. Pajan? <laughs> Pajan is tastier, in my opinion. This was a bit too crunchy for my liking. <laughs> yeah, but the staff was really really kind to go through how do you make this roll how do you eat it and i think he was really conscious about the google review he was like a tv star he had a lot of um, personality uh, as he was showing us what he was doing i really like vietnamese food has always different variety of fresh vegetables Expertly done. Oh. Not that expertly, to be honest. <laughs> I think we did it better than this. <laughs> the lotus root dish was his favourite dish, so I chose it on his recommendation. Did you like it? It was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. Our uh, way back to hotel to take our little rest because we had such a lack of we had lack of sleep. Lack of sleep. Yeah. Uh, in the evening, we went outside again. 
Again, it was like walking out into a sauna. <laughs> it was very hot, very humid. Oh, and apparently we had an appointment to the nail salon. So I got my first ever manicure, and I, I'm sorry, I don't like manicures. Yeah, he did a basic uh, kind of uh, filing and cut, and I did um, ombre style nail arts. This is a very famous train line that goes through Hanoi. You've got some very aggressive protectors of the train line that stop you going on there. We are not allowed to walk, but this motorcycle is fine. <laughs> They shout at you, and you can basically only go on here if you're going to go to one of the cafes, um, I think for safety. I don't think so, I think they're just trying to be greedy and selling stuff. Um, I would recommend to find a free entrance that is supposed to be somewhere else, if you want authentic experience there. So, uh, the next day we went to Nan Bin Tour, and this is a Hoaru Temple, Hoaru Temple. Uh, which was a capital of Vietnam in uh, 11th century. We need to go to Cambodia. And he really jumped me there. Is that where Angkor Wat is? Yeah. yeah. Have you been? Yeah. It's where the wood burning smell is oh. coming from. Look at this. Look at this fruit. Oh. <gasps> oh. Is this um jackfruit? jackfruit. Yeah. I've never seen it. Cool. A whole tree of jackfruit. It's really random though. Mm. Like it's just randomly hanging. Yeah. What? Can you take a picture of me? Oh. It was really hot. <laughs> we talk a lot about how hot it is, but it was incredibly hot. Very hot. Yeah, we were sweating. But the bikes were the best bit. You just could feel the wind rushing across your face. Mm. It was like we were in a movie. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, and through this bike ride, you can see all this um, rice fields, very green, and mountains around you. What do you think the crop is? What do you think the crop is in the field? This is rice. This is rice. Oh. This is the, like the ripe rice. Yeah. They've got all the ducks again to eat all the larvae. That's really cool, though. Mm, really cool. I did photo. I want a picture. And the next stop, we went to Trang An. It's a UNESCO heritage site um, and it's called a land in, what is it? No, Harong Bay Inland. It was quite long ride. It was two hours, but I personally think one hour or even 40 minutes would be enough to enjoy the beautiful sceneries here. Yeah, definitely two hours is a bit too long. There were so many caves. There were so many caves though. Um, so this is one of the caves that we went through and you just go through caves the whole time. Um, and it's like you go into the mouth of the, the mountain and then you sort of go inside the stomach for a little bit and then you emerge out the other end. Hmm. Maybe it's a bit more beautiful than that. <laughs> And there was this lady. Who was this lady called? Oh, uh, uh, Rower. Rower. She went through the whole time. These rowers have such stamina. It's really impressive. I mean, there's four people on this boat and we would help out a bit. But she just kept going for yeah. two hours. It's such a tiring job. This cave was beautiful. Ben was helping out the lady, Laura, Rower. You ready? 500 steps. To Muao Cave Mountain. Uh, let me check. So for this, a bit of a smaller hike than 
some previous ones that we've been on, especially that one in Sapar, but it was um, it was a great view when you got up. I can actually see why it's like Halong Bay on the land. You've got all these rock outcrops in the middle, and then we have this treacherous climb across the dragon at the top. Not quite sure this is okay to climb up to be honest. If you're slightly not that mobile, I wouldn't I wouldn't do this. It's a bit dangerous and it's very crowded. Okay. It was, it was crazy. No security. Yes, mountain goes poop. And you see that pagola, pagola? Pagoda? Pagoda. You see pagoda over there. from here, do we? No. And I think this is one of our last meals that we had in Hanoi. Um, so we went and got, um, I got a fish dish, uh, and again you wrap it up in my rice paper. It was tasty, it was like um, uh, an explosion of flavours on your mouth. But I think that's what Vietnam do really well, they do all these fresh vegetables um, linked with a bit of chilli in it. Tastes beautiful. Same bye, so Hanoi. So that's it. We're now on our way to the airport. The holiday's over. But we got to experience all variety of Vietnam and food, northern Vietnam, I would say. Um, it was nice. It was really nice. Ten days journey. I had a wonderful time. Me too. Well, that's it. Thank you. We'll see you next time.